This is 2017 AMC 12B, problem 18. Let's read the question. The diameter AB of a circle of radius 2 is extended to a point D outside the circle so that BD is equal to 3. Now, when, whenever you have a geometry problem, it's always advisable to make a drawing. So we have a diameter AB. So let's make diameter AB like this. A, B, and it's always nice to label the center of a circle whenever you have one. Let's call it O. And we know the radius is 2, so we know this distance is 2, this distance is also 2, and we are extending this to point D outside, such that B, D is equal to 3. And we know this distance is 2, so you're extending it slightly further than the distance of O, B. And we have D, and we know this distance is 2. 3. Let's continue reading the question. Point E is chosen so that ED is equal to 5 and line ED is perp perpendicular to line AD. And line AD is this line. So we have a line perpendicular to it. It does not matter if you go up or if you go down. It's going to be symmetric in the end. Let's just go down since we have more space down below. So let's go down and we know ED is equal to 5. So let's go down 5 steps. So let's go down 5 steps and put E right here, and something you may say is that we have 5 right here, and we have 5 right here. 2 plus 3 is 5. So we have OD and ED having the same length of 5. Maybe we can utilize that later on. That's something, that's something nice we have going on. Let's continue reading. Line ED is perpendicular to AD. Yes, we did. So let me just label it right angle right there. And we have segment AE intersecting the circle at point C between A and E. So we connect A and E, and we intersect the circle at point C. And we wish to find the area of ABC. So let me make sure we know what area we wish to find. We wish to find the area of ABC right here, right here. And is there anything we know about ABC right away? Yes, we do. We know it's a right angle. We know it's a right triangle with a right angle ACB. Why? Well, whenever you have a whenever you have an arc inside a circle, inscribed arc like this, you know the measure of this data is one half the measure of the subtending arc. Proving this takes some time, but maybe I will make a video in the future. It's, it's not very hard, but you do have to look at many cases. So in our case, we have this, this angle, this angle ACB subtending the semicircle, the 180 degrees. So dividing by 2 gets us 90 for the measure of ACB. Anyway, so we know that's 90 degrees. And what else do we know? What else do we know? We wish to find the area of ABC, and we know area of a triangle is one half base times height. So let's call this base and let's call this height. Do we know anything about the relationship between base and height? Yes, we do. We have a right triangle, so if we know base, we can find height right away using Pythagorean theorem. So the only thing we, we, we have to find to find the area of ABC is the base B. Once we have base B, we can find the height, and we can do 1 half base times height, and we are done. So now the question is how to find this base B, which is equal to AC. How can we possibly find it? Well, why don't we go back to something we saw as we were drawing out this question. We saw that the length of OD is 5, and length of ED is also 5. So the natural thing, it seems like, to do is to connect O and E. So to connect O and E with a line like this. Because now we have an isosceles right triangle right here, an isosceles right triangle, and 30, 60, 90 triangle are particularly useful when it comes to geometry problem solving, because we know a lot about the ratio between the sides. And what, what do we know, in fact? We know this distance OE, because we have a isosceles right triangle right here. We know distance OE. We know OE is equal to 5 times square root of 2. So I'm talking about this distance right here. So we know that's 5 times square root of 2. And what else do we know? Are there anything else we can find? Well, we have a right triangle right here. So we know, as I just mentioned, we know this triangle is isosceles right. But we have another right triangle. We have this big right triangle, triangle ADE. That's also right. So 
can we find any side lengths? Yes, we can. We can find this length AE. We can find AE using the entire right triangle and Pythagorean theorem. We have a side length of 5, and we have side length of 2 plus 2 plus 3, which is 7. So we know length of AE is 7 squared plus 5 squared, square rooting that, which is square root of 49 plus 25, 49 plus 25, or square root of 74. So we know A is 74. Now, you may realize something. We, from E to A, we know the entire distance from E to A, and we have this distance between A and C. And maybe that's making you think a power of point power of a point formulas, and there's many, many of them. In our case, the one we're looking at is when we have a point outside a circle. So we have a point E outside a circle, in fact. And whenever you draw a two tangents to a circle, it does not matter how you draw the two, two seconds, I, I wish to say, two seconds to the circle like this. And you know, you know, the let's call this outside A and the entire distance B Let's call this outside distance C, the entire distance D. We know A times B is equal to C times D. And this diagram is making us think of power of a point because we have this point E outside intersecting these at two different points and we know the length of the entire distance and the length of another part is what we wish to find. And similarly, we have another second from E so we can extend this right on and we can find the, we can find the respective distances of the entire length using the radius of the circle and this length. So how can we? So let's now, now it seems like everything is coming together. So let's, then let's make sure we organize our information. So we know the entire distance AE, which is square root of 74, times this outside distance CE. So and what's CE? Well, that's square root of 74 minus B. And we know this thing is equal to the entire distance, this entire distance, and what is it? Well, we know this distance is 5 times square root of 2. So the entire distance has to be 5 times square root of 2 plus the radius of the circle, which is 2. So we have 5 times square root of 2 plus 2 plus 2 times the times the outside distance. So I'm I'm looking at this distance from here to uh, here to E. And how can we find it? Well, the entire distance right here is 5 times square root of 2. So to find our distance, we gotta subtract the radius from it, which is 2. So this outside distance is 5 times square root of 2 minus 2. And we just have to find B. Okay, and that's not very hard. Let's just multiply things out right here. So we have 74 minus b times square root of 74 distributing it is equal to, we have difference of squares and this thing is easy to simplify. We have 5 times square root of 2 squared minus 2 squared using difference of squares and that's 50 minus 4, also known as 46. So we know this part is equal to 46. That's telling us b times square root of 74 is equal to 28, just rearranging it, or b is equal to 28 over square root of 74. So we know this important information and now we are basically done. We know b is equal to 28 over square root of 74, 28 over square root of 74, and we just have to find the area of ABC. Well, we know b, so we can find bc, and we can just multiply base and height, divide by 2, and we're done. So how do we find height or bc? Well, that's using Pythagorean theorem, that's simply square root of 4 squared, so we have 4 for the hypotenuse, minus b squared, which is 28 squared over 74, and let's figure out what this is, the square root of 74, let's make the common denominator. You have 16 right here, you want to multiply by 74. You're subtracting 28 squared. What's 16 times 74? 16 times 74, just multiplying it out, gets you 1184. And 28 squared, 28 squared, gets you 2256, 784. So subtracting them is going to get you 400 up top, divide by 74 take the square root, and we have 20 over square root of 74. So we have our base, we have our height, just multiply them together. So 28 times 20 over square root of 74 times square root of 74 is 74, divide by 2, and we're done. That's the area of the triangle. And we have 2 and 20 cancel out to have 10 up top. 10 and 74 can cancel out just a bit. 
5 up top and 37 down below. 28 times 5 is 140. Divide by 35, 37 and we're done. So the answer is 140 over 37. And our final answer, our final answer is D.